Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. So last episode we went uh, and got ourselves a cargo bay finally. Well, I got myself a cargo bay finally. And I really like having the storage shelves on there, i got to admit. Now originally I was thinking about putting it at the end of the power supply where my, uh, my crew quarters is, and put my crew quarter over here, but having the storage shelves, it might be a good idea to keep it where it is, uh, which is over on Dock D here. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to go fill this thing right up because I have just been able to like barely get a breathable atmosphere in this in the station but it's not going to last because I'm out of nitrogen I don't have a lot of oxygen left so I think it's time we take the cargo bay for a test run we're gonna, I'm going to go undock it and we're going to have that bay door open for one just grapple to the ship we'll take it off and we'll go back and forth I put 100 units of oxygen in the cargo bay module so I can top up my jet packs just in case I'm going to be there a while because yeah, this thing can hold 40 canisters. It's a lot. It is a lot. But what I'm going to do, one of the things I'm trying to figure out is what I'm going to do about the batteries because there's no actual battery shelf in here but you can actually put the batteries on these shelves. So all I have to do is as long as I don't have it, as long as I have room for the batteries all I do is just take the battery out of the drill and just grab another one off the shelf. And then I'll just keep cycling through two separate containers. I'll have two drills on me, so then I fill up both containers, dump them into the system over there, put them back in, go do another run because you can get two containers out of one battery, then come back here and and then change the batteries. So I, I'm actually curious at how many batteries I have. I can go on to Ender's ship and see if he has any. I think I have nine. Uh, that's where, oh yeah, I can go here too. Uh, oh, I have ten, so I can do t twenty containers on this, which isn't a lot. It'd be nice to be close to the power supply so I can plug them in, uh, charge them while we're waiting. And there's, I don't think there's a charging station in here anywhere. Uh, if there was, it'd be right here, but I don't see anything. So I might have to look for a few more batteries because that's going to be a, a big issue. I got the one charger on the ship, but that's going to take forever. But anyways, we'll f let me uh, do a cut here and I'll go we'll check the other ships, see if we've got any more batteries there. Alright, so I found four on the ship there. There's actually one on the shelf just on the other side here, so that gives me 15. So without recharging, that'll give me 30 canisters. Now, what side do I want? I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, let's actually open up this door just so I don't have this ship in the way when I'm getting out. So I'm going to open up this door here, then I'm going to run back to my ship, uh, open up the cargo bay door there, and then undock the ship and then come back through here and all sorts of stuff and yeah, I'll bring you back when it's time to time to grapple it. It's awfully dark out here. Be nice if you can get out, outdoor lights. Yeah, I got a repair I got to do up there too, so I shall bring you back. All right, I'm just getting ready to uh, un undock the cargo bay now. The ship's already free. I decided to do the ship first because I got this one so close to the other ship. I wanted to make sure that I didn't drift and run into it. Uh, that's uh, excuse me a minute. That's the best thing about uh, recording and not live streaming is you don't have to worry about sneezes. So I'm going to pull this lever here. I'm going to go on this side, close the door because I want to keep that pressure on this side of the station. Shut that. And we pull that. So now we are free. Now we got to blow this hatch. Actually, might as well keep whatever we have in here. We'll go out through the airlock. One thing I can never understand is even though it's got no power, it's got no power generation, the airlock still works. It could be in darkness for months and months and months and months, have absolutely no capacitor power, but the airlock still works. Makes no sense. It is a little dark. But another, another thing I want to try too to see if it's. Uh, if you can actually dock to a grapple, or if you have to grapple to a dock. It's something I've never actually tried. I know you can grapple a grapple, but I've never tried seeing if I can... No, oh, actually, no, that wouldn't even work. Because, uh... It only works standard docking port to standard docking port. So i got to move this down, then. 
get a little bit of light so I can see what I can do. Uh, I also noticed there's another turret stand underneath too. So this cargo base got three stands outside and then the two inside. So that's pretty good. Not that we ever need that many turrets. Maybe one time for a playthrough just for the hell of it. I'll actually stay in the main street. The main street, I call it, that's what, you know, the main spawning area. And just see uh, how well we can defend ourselves. You know, I might have to pull like an all-nighter when nobody's on the server and just go running around getting as many things as I could. And just get myself situated. Alright, uh, let's actually get a reference point here. Oh, it will let me dock to the grapple, really? Oh, that's interesting. Let's give this let's give this a shot. Because I've never tried that before. And now for a completely whole new view on everything. So it make, makes this game tricky sometimes is your orientation and your positioning and your controls are constantly changing depending on your the orientation of how you're facing. Because theoretically in space there is no up, there is no down, there is no left. If I was traveling forward in this direction I turned around, I'd be technically be going backwards. Something for you to think about. But this looks like it's working. I've never actually tried docking a docking anything to a grapple. Well, I didn't know it was reversible like that. Well, we're gonna find out. And then we're gonna go take this thing off to uh the nearest asteroid and load up on nitrates and heavy ice. If I can I'll try to fill the hold. And it could, because if each canister is 150 at 30 canisters, yeah, it should be should be doable. 4,500 at least. Definitely have a breathable atmosphere when we're done here. But this looks like it's working okay. And they were supposed to be putting like a docking ring on the, the grapple itself, sort of like how you have with the docking ports. So there's an indicator of where you're supposed to go. And that's why I'm wondering if it's actually going to work because it's not showing the ring. But then at the same time too, I should be in a relog situation because it's the only thing I see. I don't see the command module, I see the outpost. That's early access. Alright, and this actually might be a success. Maybe not though, because I'm pretty sure the grapple has to be engaged for this to work. No, well, I'll be damned. You learn something new every day. All right, so we are grappled here, so now I'm going to hop back into the saddle, and uh, yeah, I'll meet you at the asteroid. Okay, we are here. And to be quite honest, it's got to be like the smallest asteroid I have ever seen. Uh, I will have to head over to the cargo bay to get the batteries. Uh, switch jetpacks, I gotta fill the other one up, but I did have some oxygen on the in the cargo bay just for this situation. But look at this. This thing is tiny. I think my station's bigger than this thing. And definitely oh we gotta go get some batteries. Uh the good thing about being a small asteroid like this is uh if we do happen to find a spot that's got what we're looking for, at least it'll be easy to find. And that's what I try to do is I pick a spot on the asteroid. If I don't have a scanner, I just like pinpoint like uh, an actual feature, whether it be a certain spot or something. I just focus on that. And if I happen to find what I'm looking for, I just go to that same spot every time. Uh, not always getting what you want, but we have such a huge cargo bay here, so it doesn't really matter. You've got to be careful coming to this door, too. I came in through the top and I was undocking this thing and I fell right to the ground. So, then this is all we do, we just grab the batteries like so, there's one, and then there's two, 
I could probably put that welding tool on the shelf here somewhere because I don't really need it right now and I will need room for the containers. So let's do some mining. I have no idea what's going to be in this thing. Yes, you always get this desync around these asteroids. And I don't know why. I wonder if it's because they're on a, they're persi if they're because they're persistent objects that are on a fixed orbit. I have no idea. But for instance, I'm gonna look at this little spot right here. It's sort of like a little thing jutting out, and we'll just do a quick test. We're looking for nitrates and heavy ice. It's dry ice. That's going to give us oxygen. So then I'll go up to this light patch here. And give it a little tap. More dry ice. Don't need dry ice. We need nitrates. We need hydrogen. We need nitrogen is what we need. Alright, that's what we got here. More dry ice. No, don't tell me this whole thing is dry ice. It's going to suck. It's also why I like taking true drills. Because you gotta do your test drills, more dry ice, and usually you end up using 10 or 15 percent of your container just on your testing. And more dry ice. Uh, looks like I should have found a bigger one. More dry ice. Well, we got lots of oxygen. That's not a problem. And more dry ice. Well, it looks like. I'm going to have to do some hunting around ice, and that will give us small amounts of hydrogen and deuterium. That's why you go with the heavy ice, because it's more of a compact form. Oh, it's more ice. But anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of work here, and I'll bring you back. Probably take me an hour or so to fill the cargo bay, and I will bring you back with the, with the results. Okay, I'm finally done. I went through 14 batteries, which means 28 containers. And needless to say, I've been at this for about an hour and a half now. And uh, yeah, it gets kind of boring after a while. But definitely got quite the haul today. And there we go. There's one container. Uh, yeah, we'll put it back on the drill. Why not? I was having issues with the batteries on the shelves. Sometimes you don't can't actually pick up the batteries so you have to fill up the rest of the shelf and then try it again but there we go there's our totals we have 2.3 or 2300 nitrates we have 1100 dry ice that's our oxygen right there and we have about 700 of the heavy ice uh, I'm not gonna bother ref trying to refine anything here because just don't have the power for it uh, it'd be nice to have a servo but eh, I can't win them all so anyways, I'm going to head back to the station. We're going to get this thing all docked back up. I'm going to start getting some stuff refined and pressurized the station. And I'll bring you back when when my chores are done. Anyway, I'll see you, see you soon. Okay, well, that didn't take too long. It took about 20 minutes or so to process everything. But we have the life support system completely full. We do have, uh, hang on, gotta get back in here. We still have, oh, we did have a little bit of nitrogen, but I put it in uh, the lab wrap. So that at least my ship's got a little bit of life support. And hopefully, we don't use up too much more nitrogen filling up the rest of the station. I'm Basically, I'm gonna pressurize everything up to one bar. Got the air generator running right now, or the air filter. So we'll go through this and see how it goes. But uh, anyways, I'm going to call the episode here. I've been at this for a few hours, but it was well worth it because we have so much stuff. We've got all this hydrogen, too, and nitro is eh. Either way. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.